Okay, I've got this done turned again, and I'm ready to put that one on. But first, we have this one, but we're not going to be able to get to the tip because our thing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to work halfway with this, and we're going to leave the tip alone, and we'll do it with the next turn. We are going to go ahead and we're going to go on up with the white. And we, we can go on if we can get to it. I still have this one that I got to put on. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull this one right here on up. But I'm going to go ahead and draw this one so that we can get busy on it. This is going to be a little bit, little bit at a time. But we're going to do it. See, I got... Get that out of my way. I got my marks already here. And I want to make sure I'm going halfway. So what I'm going to have to do is... I'm going to want to make sure it's halfway. Is lay it down. And make sure my tip is halfway. Turn it around to where I got my thing here and it's all halfway. Let's show you what I got. See here, got it leveled out there and then I got it leveled down to the bottom. Now I'm ready to draw it and I've got to draw the other one way down there too. Alright, look at there. You can see a pin. Oh, yay, we're doing them. Alright, <clears throat> I have my pins down through here. I still have to do this one and this one. We're <clears throat> on the flag itself, taking off the pillow. This one right here is halfway. So, we're going to say we're halfway through it. So, now we have two on this one. There's two, and I gotta put another one over here. But my thought is, would it be easier at this point to turn it around? Even if I have to take these needles out and try to work them all over again. Instead of me working this way with it, I'm gonna be working this way. But I'm going to uh, go ahead and I'm going to turn this around. I've done got all my pins out and my side pieces. Everything is off and it's ready to turn around. So I'm going to try to turn it around if I can. Oh, let me see. There we go. That looks better. So if I can turn on the light, maybe you can see a little better. I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to tear some stuff up, I hope not, while I do this. Oh, it's scaring a girl, a girl dog to death. Alright, take this up. And, that's successful so far. So... Get out of here. Yes. Alright, now I'm going to have this one on this side. So now i got to watch what I'm doing more on it. I'm good with my sewing here. I need to have this star so I can get to it. So everything is going to go like that. I'm going to that next. My next one. Make sure it goes down in there. There we go. Now, 
this one. I'm going to go with this one. I don't think it's going to work. Because I'm not going to have nowhere to put this one right here at. It will be sitting in my lap. I don't see that working out very good. Okay. Yeah. Unless I leave it hang. Let me get to this one. Unless I let it hang. Let's see how much I have to leave it hang. Oh, really not that much. <coughs> All right. <coughs> We're going to get rid of this one. I'm going to put all my pins over here so I can get rid of them. And if I have to go back and do this again, <coughs> I will. But I gotta put all these pins in my cushion over here so I don't lose them. If I set them down somewhere, I probably end up losing them, so I don't wanna do that. Alright, so we can get rid of this one right here. Uh oh, got a pin. I ain't got them all yet. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is oak. This board here. So if you make a quilting frame like this one right here is it's nothing but two by fours but you want to get oak because oak does not bend and uh, it's not easier to break and it will hold up your quilting frame yeah I'd like for see Rick and me build another one I would build it different from this one but I would build a different one and and all. Alright. So now each time that I do this, I'm going to have this, the, the quilt itself, on my lap. So I've got to watch that. Now I want to see. I cannot go. Look at that. That is so. No, I got to get the thieves. So I need to see where am I? Okay, I need to get it more this way. Now, with it like this, <clears throat> what we can do? We go get some pins, and that way we got some pins to work on. You know us; we're gonna have to as quilters. We got to have pins. Now, I always start in the middle, and I'm gonna pin this one down to my first row make sure that it is pulled just a little bit not pull pull but laying down pretty good with my batting and I think that's doing pretty good so far there I think I could do it now I got to get to where these needles are because I can't I can't reach up here and I got fiber fill up there so I gotta change it. Come on. Alright now this right here is hanging down. I'm not gonna worry about it so much. So what I need to do is I need to make me a roll because I got to be able to get to this star and this star. So I'm going to take this like this, and I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to unroll it one time, see if that will give me enough to get to it. Uh, still sagging, and I don't like that sagging. Uh, let's go one up here. I want more down here. There's that one. Oh boy, that's good. Yes, that's good. That's what I like that. 
and I can get to this one. All right, now, like I said, instead of sewing this way, we don't, if we have any strings, we don't want to pull them. You always want to cut them. But like I was saying about the sewing, you, uh, you want to go the opposite direction now. Right here is our, our these. So we're going to be sewing it to us. Instead of sewing it away from us, we're going to be sewing to us. Alright. So now it's time to put these back on. I still have my things, uh, my quilt front, uh, beginning of the quilt right there. Well, it'll be the ending of it, really. So we got about maybe three or four more rounds on this quilt. And we'll be taking it off the frame. And that'd be good. <laughs> Thought we would be good. Take it off the frame. Okay. And I still have to draw these right here on. And I don't have to pin up here no more. And I don't have to pin right here no more. Until I get to getting this one right here. And every time I have to pin it down. Let's see. Is there anything else that I'm forgetting? We're going to give this a try. If, we, if I don't like it, then I will change it back around the other way but I'm trying to get this bulk right here off of me that was my goal it's not really that bad it wasn't bothering me it's just if I have another extra quilt up here a longer one or anything then I'll be able to to do it to it How come I've got this bubbling underneath here? Why it's that way? Yeah, and this one's doing it too. Ah, oh, these right here are stopping it from turning it. <coughs> we don't like that. Get rid of that. Alright. Stow this this way. Oh, come on now. Okay, something's not right. I don't know. If you could see me or not. Alright, see here? I got all this extra fiber feel. And I'm going to have to watch it on it. So I don't need that extra fiber feel to mess me up. But other than that, we just need to watch it because we don't we really don't need it. And I don't want it my way. Alright, let's see if we can't put this back. I need to turn this one more time. From the looks of it. Let me get my my uh, stiff back to it. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's get this right here. On down. Okay, always, like I said, start in the middle, pin her down. And that way, we ain't got no problem with it. Now I'm 
move down with this again. We just have to worry about this now and having it on our lap and not sewing it to the bottom of one of these. I hope this works out. I do. But we'll give it a try. Alright, I will see how long this video is and what I need to do. Alright, I'm having a very sleepless night. I've been up. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. I haven't really slept that much. Alright, now here I have one inch. And I'm going to put my star in there. And I want it opposite of what the other stars are. You know, like this one right here, I want the same way. So here, doo -doo -doo -doo, about like that right there, should get it. And this will be my last star on the sides. I have to start putting them on here next. And I'll put three on here too. <clears throat> so, and I think... Scoot it over. Okay, now there's my inch. And I do have an inch here. Yes, I do. So an inch here will work just fine. <coughs> so I can't. So, yep, yep, yep. Scoot it over. I want it to go towards this one. And I think that would hit it just right. Make sure it's still got my inch mark. Here. Yep, I got a little bit over, <clears throat> which that's good. And make sure I've got some down here. What do I have down here? Look at that. That ain't even, don't even show it's even. About an inch. That's an inch. So that's not really straight at all. Better not like that. Did that one turn out the same way? Yes, it did. So, probably ought not worry about it. As long as my inch comes up here, I'm not going to worry about it. Well, that might help some too. A little tip. <laughs> okay, I ain't going to mess with that. I'm going to call it quits. Oh, there goes my pot. Okay, let's draw this back on here now. So I can get it put down. And now I've got three more to put on. And then we'll be done with this part. And I also got me a pair of pliers. A needle nose pliers to help me pull my needle through. Because... I'm telling you, it hurts my fingers. Let's see if I can make you one couple of stitches here and show you what I mean. So I'm going into it and going down and up, and then I'm taking it and I'm pulling it through. I'm not pulling it crooked or sideways, you pull it straight through. Okay, all right, I'm going to get this one done. Where's he at? <laughs> hey, look at his back legs. <laughs> We're talking about you. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I have never in my life. I'm telling you, I'm Yeah, he, he went to sleep in that box again. Huh? He went to sleep in the box again, and then he got up on top of my quilt. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Can you see? Let's see if I can't get this on over here, and we're gonna wor be working right here. And I hope I can't. Yeah, I can see it now. All right, now there's something I want to say before I go on. Um. Now, you have to <laughs> consult your own physician. There's my, uh, what do you call it, 
whatever it is. Um, I made me some golden rod plantation ointment is what it's called. Now, what you do is you take the golden rod leaves, just the leaves. I have not tried the flowers yet, but I'm going to try the flowers as well. But all it is is the leaves and extra virgin olive oil, and you soak it for 30 days. And then it's good for, like, cuts and bruises, uh, like poison ivy, whatever those things are that, you know, where you need it. All right, let's get busy. Let's work on that one that we need right here. So I want to get all this right here out of my way. All right, we're going to take, and I've tried it already, and it does seem like it does help a little bit. So I'm going to go half an inch in, make me a mark. Then I meant an inch in, inch, 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 inch in. Make me a mark. Now I can barely see my pencil mark. It's not that great. I would try to sew by it. And then I'm going to put my star right in here. So my tip is messed up. And right in here is messed up. And now I'm going to draw in. My, well, this side ain't doing too good. Why ain't you doing good? Got two or three marks right there. Still, turn it over. Yes, I can draw it now. Now I got two more of these to draw. And it will be the two that goes right here. And then we'll be done with them. But we always want to start in the middle. And then we want to work whichever side we want to but we need to work with. But I'm hoping I can get this off the frame today. That's my goal. Not saying that I'm gonna be able to, but I am going to try to get it. So here we go with this one, and I'm going to try to get this right here done in just a little while so I can get this thing off the frame. That would be great. This right here, can you see the leaves in it? I hope so. All right, so I made me some more, and this is nothing but the flowers and the leaves, and I grinded it up. And I also put my date on top. So the 12th of 20th, 2020, I can use this. Alright, let's get so to sewing this right here. Alright, let's see how long it takes to do one of these. So I have me already two, uh, I only need one, two of these done. So we're going to get started and we're going to see how long it takes. Now, uh, from right here, I have two of these, but I want to get this one done before I get this one because I want all my material to spread out that way. So let's get started, and let's see how long it takes to do one of these. <laughs> Bye. 
gives way to victory. I'll see the lights, the city, and I'll know he reigns. Because he lives, I can praise him all. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I got that star on and it took 11 minutes and 42 seconds and I that's what uh, doing the um, threading the needles because sometimes it takes a minute all right we'll see you next time if you would like to donate to poor man's sewing come down here to poor man's sewing then come up here and look for about and right here you can donate to the channel and every donation is really appreciated we thank you very much and I hope you have a blessed day